Hello, everybody. So, as you can see today, as I am playing Body Count. Now, some of you are probably asking right now, oh, Luke, what's, what's Body Count? Body Count is a game that got such poor reception. Because of its result of poor reception, Codemasters closed down their Guildford United Kingdom uh, studio, laying off 70 employees and cutting down Codemasters studio base by a third. That's one of the first times I've ever heard that a company have done that because of just a bad re poor reception. Like, I don't understand why they wouldn't just learn from their mistakes and try and improve on them and make something better and just know from this game that everything wasn't too great. This has been classed as a spiritual successor to the 2006 video game Black, which I never played, but I know it was on the PS2 and I know you, you could destroy pretty much everything in it and I've heard that this game you could pretty much destroy everything on it, in it, on it, whatever. Let's, let's just go with this. Wow, look at that. That looks like a very old game. Let me just show you this now. Please do not worry that I, I will not be playing loads of crap games with these let play these let's play videos. I'm messing up completely here today. I would not be playing really crap games. I'll actually be playing some fun games. Sorry I was taking a sip of a drink there. I'll be playing some fun games but this was in HMV um, for quite cheap. Um, it was a HMV that was closing down. Oxford Street Oxford Circus HMV has now closed down and they had all their games, really old like games and stuff for 60% off so I got this for I think for about £5 I got it for, I don't know, maybe it's cheaper some other places but I got it for pretty cheap um, in my opinion I think that's a, that's a good enough price for a game that I don't know, maybe I'll enjoy it, maybe I won't enjoy it, um, we're going to play it in, on normal, maybe, maybe I'll play it in on impossible to see if it really is impossible. Um, but I doubt it. I'm, I'm, I really don't actually know properly what this game is about. Like, I bought it and the back isn't... It's not one of the back which tells you the storyline. It just tells you things that you can do in the game, like destroying things and that. Sorry, I'm skipping that. Um, it doesn't tell you the things that you can do. It, it's just... You can only find out the storyline if you go online. So it's about... Uh, I forgot his name. I've forgotten his name. That is really, really good right now. Sorry for for that, but I'm I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if it's saying press A to continue to quit out the game. But um oh yeah, so Body Camp revolves around Jackson, a former American soldier recruited by the Anemic Dick Network who was normally resolved around conflicts between countries eat when where even the UN could not. Uh, over time, Jackson realised that wars are caused by some mysterious individuals. Uh, I don't even. Know. Why is it saying press A to continue? Is that gonna? See, so it skips. It just skips it. Why is it that stupid putting up? So what we're we gonna do? Not sure who's talking to me right now. But I'm gonna try and talk for a, a bit more of this today. I realised with my alien, <laughs> alien clone marines. Um, let's see. Let's destroy everything. Oh, there we go. It looks like. Pretty much bricks are coming out the wall. Okay, Let's see what. Peace talks between the militia and government fell apart about 36 hours ago. Tasanga City is turning. Yeah, look at that. And unfortunately, this area is. I think this is meant to be set in the future, but. This gun. Sorry, I've, I sometimes do. Well, not. Uh, sounds like I do research on guns. I always. When I see guns in films and stuff, I have to, like, look them up. What's Iron Sight? Okay. LT and. Lean and peak. So LT to take cover. And then. That's. What? It's not make sense this game. Well, it makes sense, but it's just the lean and peak thing just didn't sound quite right. I was pressing it, but. What's that noise? Sound like it should be in an arcade game. It's cannon here. Oh, who else shooting me? Who's shooting me? There you are. Is 
Is this is this just what is this game? I'm, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Has anyone else played this game? How am I meant to throw an impact grenade? Oh, mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Nothing happened. He threw a grenade back at me. I don't even know what's going on in this game right now. Seriously, just... I know I'm meant to get somewhere. Where's the comm station? It's over there. What the heck? What enemies are there? There's everyone shooting at everyone. No, this told me to press LT to take cover. Oh, that's how you, uh, That's how you peek, like that. That is ridiculous. It doesn't... It's really... Sensitive. I'm just like moving the stick a little bit, it does it really weirdly. For a good name, I think. I don't know where is the where is the health? Is the health in the I'm guessing it's in the left? Well, I don't know why I'm asking that. But what is this what are these enemies meant to be? Is where am I meant to be right now? I don't even I didn't even What did I do? Let's try it again. I'm not sure what I did. I'm just gonna run for it, you know? I'm just gonna run for it. Because I'm not sure exactly where I'm meant to be going. But I think it's inside here. Or is it over there? Oh, there's the dish. I think that's a dish. Oh, this is why this game got bad reception because they don't explain anything properly. Oh, you can hit people with a knife. That's stairs. Is this it? I used to find games like this really fun, but now they just remind me of just like Call of Duty, oh, Call of Duty and stuff. And I'm not the biggest fan of Call of Duty. Never really enjoyed it that much. Oh, well, well, okay. When I say never really enjoyed it much, I enjoyed Call of Duty two and three when it was normal war, but I mean like World War and stuff. But then, not World War, the World War one that they made, but um. I mean, when it was like World War Two and stuff, that's when it was enjoyable in ways. Like I could still enjoy playing it because it was it, it was set in the in the right time, and then all of a sudden they were like, "Oh, we know how to how to make people like our game more. Let's um, add zombies and space and stuff." And they just jumped. It was the same with a Medal of Honor. I don't know why every game that did that just changed everything about themselves and they were set in old war time and then the next minute they were like nope not anymore we're gonna where the bloody hell am I to be going power source and they just changed it and it just bothered me because I used to really love Medal of Honor and Call of Duty before they changed into just some really disappointing crap oh there it is Oh yeah, I I may enjoy um, stuff like Max Payne in those sort of games, and where where it's like a story in there as well. What the what am I meant to be doing? I don't I don't know what I'm doing right now. 
doing terribly at this game, aren't I? Maybe I can understand why this game didn't do that well now. Just, it's not that great. Oh, you're right behind me the whole time, that's why. Let's go for this again. Let's go again. <laughs> I am so great at computer games. <laughs> this game is crap. Like, it got some good reviews when it came out, but maybe there's something better about it later on in the game. But I, I'm just, at the moment, I'm not too sure what's really that great about it. What was that? What was that achievement? What was it? Let's see what great achievements this game does. Killed 10 enemies with grenades, wow. Cool. Go again. Let's try this. Let's maybe take cover this time. Oh, can I not jump over? What a crap. Right near it as well. I don't understand why there's water. Look, this is the root. Is that the only reason water melons hung in places? So you can blow it up. So the other power source is. In here, there we go. Ooh. I'm not sure why I'm even doing this. This may be the first video of many where I play body count. That was mad, what just happened there? There is nothing, and I mean nothing, in the instruction manual that tells me if I can change my weapon. But I don't think I can. I think I'm just going to have this for the entirety of the game. Well, this is the only the first level. Maybe this is teaching me what to do. Am I going the right way? No. Just run. Run. Is that a cobble hot? Did that line just gets said. Oh. Um, yeah, next time I'll be playing a game that I actually enjoy playing, I think. I'm actually going to be playing a game that I will actually be having fun playing and not absolutely hating. I don't even know why. I, just, I thought this game would maybe be fun. I thought it maybe be a fun first person shooter. But it's not. Right, what have we got to run to? Run. Oh shit. Fuck's sake. Really? Kill Tower Mage with the last round in your weapon. Kill ten enemies that all they have for the achievements. We Oh shit. <laughs> ah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this mission, then the video will finish. And then maybe I'll play it again another time. But I've got to realise right now jumping from a building is jumping is not a good idea. But where the stairs? Both sides were involved in peace talks, and then the violence suddenly reignited. No one else is coming to help. It's just the network. It's just us. We have to get the sides talking again. Just the network. Just the network are doing this. Yeah, that's what I can do with a knife, make people do backflips. Can't remember this next part. I don't know how health even works in this game.
I got what we're done. What's going on? Alright, come on. Let's go. Welcome to Africa. That was a tutorial. <laughs> that was the tutorial when I got a D on that. Wow. But I got higher than my friend Ricky. And that's that's body count for you. I'll maybe see you again soon for another episode of Body Count. What a great game.